Hello EC students. I am going to give you a short review of how you need to prepare for GATE 2013. I will take you back to GATE 2003 and explain the syllabus changes that occurred from GATE 2003 till GATE 2012. We will also make a short analysis of the question papers from GATE 2003 till GATE 2012. Who are we? We are a we are a 10 pointer, a group founded by alumnus of IIC Bangalore in 2009. 10 pointer co founders have vast experience in coaching students for GATE, IES, and PSUs in India. 10 pointer strongly believes in the principle that there is no substitute to hard work and no shortcuts to success. We provide online preparatory material for GATE, IES, and PSUs in India throughout the year. That includes several practice tests with level of difficulty ranging from easy, medium to hard, previous year questions with solutions, several web links, good video lectures, ebook links, etc. Unlike other online websites which wake up only before the exam, one, one or two months before the exam, 10 pointer provides its services helps students to prepare well for the exam throughout the year. Ten Pointer is not just a online test provider but rather tries to support students and help students to enhance their preparation throughout preparation throughout the year by providing several online resources to students. For more details please visit www.10pointer.com Let's go back to GATE 2003. I say it is flashback. From GATE 2003 till GATE 2008, the total number of marks for GATE was 150. And from GATE 2009 till GATE 2012, the total marks got reduced to 100. I would like to highlight the changes in the syllabus that occurred from GATE 2003 till GATE 2012. Now why is GATE 2003 important to us? Before GATE 2003, GATE exam was similar to IES exam. GATE had two papers, subjective type and objective type. From GATE 2003 onwards, GATE became completely objective. So our reference from now on would be GATE 2003 and we would like to see the other changes that occurred for this exam till GATE 2012. Engineering Mathematics is a new course that got added to the syllabus from GATE 2005 onwards. So if you see previous year question papers from GATE 2003 till GATE 2005 you will not find even a single question from Engineering Mathematics. And then general aptitude got added to the syllabus from GATE 2010. So that means there are no questions from general aptitude section from GATE 2003 till GATE 2010. It's not just the subjects but the number of questions also changed from GATE 2003. As you can see from GATE 2003 till 2005 there were 90 questions, 31 mark questions and 62 marks questions. There are more core subject questions. When I say core subject here, all subjects except engineering, mathematics and general aptitude. Those are core subjects. Because you know that gate 2000 in GATE 2005, engineering mathematics got included in the syllabus. And then from GATE 2006 till GATE 2008, number of questions became 85. One mark questions got reduced to 20. 2 marks questions became 65. Less core subject questions because the mathematics is included during this time. And then GATE 2009, the questions reduced further and it became 60 questions. 21 mark questions and 42 marks questions. So the, the core subject questions got reduced again. And from GATE 2010 to GATE 2012, the number of questions became 65.
because as I said earlier GATE 2010 general aptitude got included in the syllabus 25 one mark questions and then 15 general aptitude questions that is 5 general aptitude one mark questions and 35 two marks questions much less core subject questions due to general aptitude so as you can see from GATE 2003 till GATE 2012 it is not the just the syllabus that has changed but the number of questions number of one mark questions number of two, ma two marks questions got changed the emphasis on the core subjects got reduced and now you can see that 30 percent of the marks is, is split among general aptitude and engineering mathematics courses so it is only the 70 percent of the marks that is allocated to the core subject questions like I said earlier gate was made completely objective from 2003 interestingly the syllabus is also changed I would like to highlight uh, those things here because most of you must not be aware of these changes that happened in the past from gate 2006 onwards there's a change in the electromagnetic course there was a topic called antenna arrays in electromagnetic course that was removed so bef prior to 2006 you would have no you would notice that every year there used to be at least one two marks question from antenna arrays and then you may be shocked today to see the last several years from 2006 till 2012 there is not even a single question on antenna arrays so some of you must be surprised why there is no question what happened to that question is it not important now the reason is it is very important but it is removed from the syllabus from gate 2007 onwards in your electronic devices and circuits course a new topic got introduced that is a device technology topic which includes integrated circuits fabrication process oxidation diffusion ion implantation photolithography n-tub p-tub processes and also twin tub CMOS processes they got included communications in the communications course basics of TDMA FDMA CDMA and GSM got introduced and in electromagnetics course the concept of S parameters was introduced which means that the questions from these topics from device technology and TDMA FDMA CDMA GSM and S parameters you can see the questions only from 2007 and you will not see even a, a, a single question before 2007 so don't think that it was it was not that important from gate 2003 till gate 2007 and they became important only after gate 2007 that is not the reason the reason is they have not included in the syllabus prior to gate 2007 similarly gate 2009 onwards in signals and systems the, the topics related to DFT, FFT parallel and cascade structures got introduced what does that mean to you why should you know this information this is one information which is quite hard quite hard for students to get even if you attend any coaching institute not many coaching institutes would like to discuss all these things in the class so that means relying only on previous questions is not enough it's good to know how questions are asked in the past but don't depend completely on previous year questions this is not your semester exam where the questions are repeated so don't judge on the emphasis of each each subject just based on previous year questions make an analysis and keep it for yourself it's good to know the percentage of marks that you may get in these subjects but don't think that it will be exactly the same as what happened in the past there are also some other uncertainties like syllabus can change now we don't know the syllabus for gate 2013 you will know the syllabus only syllabus and pattern only in September 2012 when the gate brochure is out so the assumption as of now is the syllabus is same as the previous year even if there is change in the syllabus it will not be much there will be there may be few topics added or few topics deleted otherwise majority of the syllabus will remain the same but the pattern may change but you should know it's good to know how questions are asked in the past 
because you can then align yourself in preparing you will get some understanding of how you can prepare several subjects or which subject you need to take first and which subject you can take later so have a better understanding of previous year questions now ten pointer made m made a short analysis of the percentage of marks for the last ten years starting from date 2003 till date 2012 and again as I said earlier this is only an analysis to make you understand the importance of the subjects in gate as you will see that the emphasis since it has changed quite a bit mainly the number of questions have changed quite a bit from last several years and as we go on we may see a different pattern in the kind of questions that are asked in the exam so this is the analysis that we have made and you can see that this is in, 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 in the percentage of marks today gate to the assumption is gate 2003 will be gate, to gate 2013 will be 100 marks paper with 15 percent of mathematics 15 percent of general aptitude and if you look at the aggregate for the last 10 years general aptitude of course is at a uh, is the top level 15 percent of the marks then comes the communication systems analog circuits engineering mathematics control systems network theory electromagnetics signals and systems digital electronic devices and circuits and microprocessors microprocessors can be considered as a different subject or it can be clubbed into digital circuits but as such if you see uh, the emphasis of microprocessors is, is less when compared to the emphasis on digital circuits a 10 pointer made a graphical analysis of of the percentage of uh, allocation that happened from 2003 till 2012 we would like students to take this as a reference to understand the importance of the subjects but don't expect that you you will get the same number of questions in the exam so when I say 13.67 percent in communication systems that doesn't mean that it should be exactly 13.67 marks in the exam it could be somewhere like 10 to 13 marks in the exam so that's quite a bit right so the core uh, among the core subjects you see that communication systems is a core subject for EC students so you get more marks here analog circuits and today engineering mathematics and general aptitude the weightage of these two subjects is also increasing that means they are they are they are significant if you want to get a good score don't neglect them thinking that they are non-technical courses if you want a good score you need to score marks in these subjects as well then you have control systems where analysis says it's 11 percent is good marks right anything about 10 10 marks is, is, is a very good uh, very good subject and that needs to be prioritized before others then you have network theory 9.87 percent electromagnetic theory 9.74 percent electromagnetic theory and network theory you can see they are very close to each other right so you get good number of marks in these two subjects signals and systems is a, is a quite new subject in that way because it was not there the emphasis not was not very much from the beginning but then you still you see that it is 9.47 percent so around nine marks you can expect in the exam digital circuits 9.31 percent EDC 8.67 percent and finally microprocessors which is 2.34 percent and we would like to emphasize that all subjects are equally important in one way or the other there's not much difference except for the mathematics and general aptitude which uh, which which weigh about 15 percent for sure in the exam otherwise all technical subjects are equally important but however we need to make certain priority list when we are preparing for the exam right so this graph tells you to make a, a, a proper schedule for yourself depending on your affinity with the subjects depending on your your level of preparedness towards the subject so you can you can take this as a reference to make a schedule while you are preparing for gate 2013 so if you summarize the analysis 10 pointer gives this kind of priority three priority levels high priority medium priority and low priority so high priority subjects include 
obviously the two non-technical subjects in general aptitude and engineering mathematics in addition to these subjects you have communication systems analog circuits control systems ten pointer feels that these three subjects are uh, have high priority that is again based on the number of marks that are that have been asked in the last ten years then you have medium priority network theory electromagnetic theory signals and systems digital electronic device and circuits and finally the low priority which is microprocess the last year you you would have seen uh, the uh, gate 2000 gate 2012 paper didn't have a single question on microprocess so that doesn't mean that there there will not be any question on microprocess in gate 2013 right so the priority is is low that doesn't mean that you should neglect the subject but you should take it maybe at a later date but first focus on high priority and medium priority subjects thank you 10 pointer wishes all easy students good luck and all the best for your preparation you can also join 10 pointer premium group at the, at, at this link www.10pointer.com/premiumusers today where we have a number of students who are seriously preparing for the exam we try to support them by providing all kinds of online resources including practice tests and several online material we would like you to join 10 pointer group and take the advantage of this it's not very expensive as alumnus of iic bangalore we strive to help students as much as possible who don't have capacity to attend very expensive classroom coaching but can use technology to study prepare well for the exam start preparing for the exam